following a breaking news story out of Garland County where law enforcement says a missing five-year-old boy has been found safe. KRK4's Stephanie Sharp is joining us live now with reaction from the family. Stephanie. Ashley, it was an emotional reunion indeed. Good news is that that five-year-old boy, Elijah, was found safe. This call came in uh, this afternoon, just before, or just after, rather, noon that he was missing. And uh, multiple agencies responded to the scene from Arkansas State Police, Garland County Sheriff's Office, many different volunteer fire departments. Uh, they searched for hours in this area. It's in rural Garland County with dense forest. And we're told from his family also that there were several creeks in the area so of course their concern was um, the worst during this entire ordeal we heard from the family later that he was actually at a family friend's house somewhere else near Garland County and they didn't have phone service so they weren't able to get in touch with the family to let them know that he was safe and sound so we were told from the family that this five-year-old Elijah was in, in no harm whatsoever all day long um, it was just miscommunication so good news is that he was taken back home with his parents here um, in rural Garland County where we're at in Royal and actually we were there whenever they were reunited for the first time. Listen to what his grandmother said that was like. It was, you know, by the grace of God, he was with his mama's friend and everything turned out for the best because there's a lot of body of water behind the house. And yes, definitely a scary situation indeed. And I want to show you real quick why they were all so concerned because we are in rural Garland County. And if you look over here, this is where we're at. It's a dense forest, several trees and hills. And like you heard her say earlier, there is also bodies of water. So they absolutely had the worst in mind, but it turned out to be the best, which is the best news of all. They told me that Elijah will be staying at his grandmother's house tonight and they are just so happy and they'll be hugging him extra tight when they go to bed tonight. So good news out here in Garland County. I'll send it back to you in the studio. That is some good news. Stephanie, thanks very much. This is a story we first broke this afternoon on our KARK4 News smartphone app. If you want to be among the first to get these apps and alerts, all you have to do is download the mobile app. It's either in the App Store or Google Play.